Is there a sudden spike in interest in the goat life from the next big Malayalam release? I owe that to Manjimil boys, to Premalu, to Brahma Yugam. I know their success could potentially pave the way for my success. Ever since I could see the first look of Prithvi Raj Sukumaran in Adu Jeevitam or The Goat Life, I was in awe of simply what he was physically capable of doing for this film. Little did I know that this subject matter that is hugely popular among the people of Kerala due to the book written by Benjamin on the tumultuous journey and heartbreaking real story of Najib is something that has been an active part of Prithvi Raj and Blessy's life for close to 16 years. A time period in which not only Prithvi Raj has become a bona fide star from Malayalam cinema, but has also become a married man and a father. The more you read about the arduous journey this film has undergone from a production standpoint, the more you genuinely root it for its success. Even though I think it's a terrible crime that a movie so anticipated and getting such a wide release does not have subtitles, my first viewing, I actually found myself as disoriented as Najib as the movie switches from Arabic, Malayalam, Broken English and Hindi. I however took a sigh of relief as the film was not dialogue heavy and still had the capability to affect me emotionally. The film is less about what is said but what is endured and more importantly it acted as such a commentary on human empathy or lack of vis-a-vis the sheer might and perseverance within us that we often undermine. Such universal themes can be communicated beyond the confines of language as we connect as humans. Adu Jeevitam focuses on the life of Najib played by Prithvi Raj who has aspirations to provide a better life for his family financially, only to find himself forced into slavery in the vast and desolate landscape of Saudi Arabia. A labourer becomes as inconsequential as the goats he is forced to herd. The rapid turn of events that lead up to his sorry state, only to gather up the courage to break from the confines of his oppressors, forms the basic premise of this extremely ambitious and heartbreaking film that is a true testament of artists and creators sticking by their guns when no one believed in them and most noteworthy. An example of absolute surrender by an artist like I have not seen in a long time from an Indian actor. The film immediately makes it clear that it is going to snatch away every morsel of happiness or reprieve from you as it consistently provides contrast between what Najib has left behind and the circumstances he finds himself in. The desolate and vast environment transitions to an image of Najib drinking from the same source as the goats he herds. The film has been shot beautifully by Sunil K.S. Most of the frames that take over the film are broad strokes of brown and nothingness in the horizon. This is juxtaposed with the beauty of Kerala. Every time Najib even faintly reminisces about the life he took for granted, the film gets saturated with green and blue. And while experiencing a reality check, swiftly after, he toils around the inhumane circumstances his bosses subject him to. The film is 2 hours and 53 minutes long. And I have to warn you, as I know many of you are very intrigued to watch this film, that Adu Jeevitam is not for the faint-hearted. It's a rigorous survival journey that will make even you as a viewer want to look away. The frames and circumstances are so dire and awful. If you did not know about the real story, you would honestly dismiss it as a fictional one, a wild creation by Benjamin, the author of the book. The one aspect of the film that absolutely blew my mind, something that was such a recurring feature among Indians that travelled to the Middle East, was the blind trust with which they travelled thousands of miles away, with the sole intention of setting their future beyond the confines of their state. How a simple number in a phone book would suffice, and one would totally be dependent on the goodwill and benevolence of other fellow humans. Najib, however, got dealt the worst odds, as the uncontrollable circumstances go from bad to worse, and you could not help but absolutely absolutely bowl over Prithvi Raj's helplessness, trying to convey his predicament in Malayalam only to be shunned away constantly by his Arabic owners. I wonder what toll it takes on an actor when they take upon a role where they are constantly belittled and shouted at. It may make you such a sorry version of yourself. Just as Prithvi Raj's physical presence absolutely shrivels up as the running minutes pass by, the Stockholm Syndrome also functions in full gear, where the slave feels conditioned to be by his owner's side. Fear full of the consequences. Najib, through several portions, accepts his life to be this till his deathbed. A.R. Rahman leaves his mark by providing a melancholic score reflective of a person having reached a vortex with no return. A slave who seems to have undergone years of trauma communicates to Najib. 
अंदर से कोई बाहर ना आ सके दिस फीलिंग ऑफ नजीब फाइंडिंग हिम सेल्फ एट द मर्सी ऑफ दीज हार्टलेस एंड ओप्रेसिव इंडिविजुअल इज परफेक्टली इनकेप्सुलेटेड एज ही इज हैंडेड ओवर द मोस्ट स्टील फूड ओनली टू डिपिट इन वॉटर टू मेक इट रिमोटली एडिबल द डिलिशियस मटन शेयर विद फैमिली द टोरेंशियल रेन ऑफ केरला एंड द रिच कलर्स ऑफ फ्लोरा एंड फोना आर नथिंग बट अ डिस्टेंट ड्रीम नाउ यू सी द स्लो डिस इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ अ ह्यूमन बिकमिंग डिसेंसिटाइज टू द मक इन स्टेल नेचर ऑफ इज एग्जिस्टेंस इन अ मोमेंट दैट विल ट्रूली ब्रेक योर हार्ट यू सी in the frame that najib has essentially transformed into the herd sitting amongst them he is no different prithviraj really puts forth the performance of a lifetime not only is he physically unrecognizable your jaw will literally drop seeing the sheer nature of the dramatic weight loss journey he has undergone especially when you see it in comparison to how he looks in the first frame the shriveled stature is so shocking that he from a distance looks like he is standing on stilts his body becoming more bones than any form of flesh prithviraj's slow descent into becoming an animal worth no human decency is coupled with close up shots of his eyes that speak a thousand words of a life lived in misery currently and a longing for what was left behind after years of not talking to anyone you also see how the motor nerve of simply using one's vocal cords creates this awkward delivery where one is mostly incomprehensible yet wanting to say so much as najib sees a window which might be his only opportunity to escape the heartfelt moments he shares with the animals the only beings that showed him some empathy is honestly pure magic of cinema the film is a labor of love for a creator like blessy sticking by a project for such a long time a conviction so rare in an environment where everyone is looking for quick solutions for commercial success that coupled with an artist willing to totally surrender to his vision adu jeevitam really presents pure passion in each frame definitely not for the faint hearted yet a feat that deserves all the love and appreciation and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about adu jeevitam or the goat life please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching